everybody. Welcome to Kame House Party. I'm Aaron. And I'm Vince. It is the only improv comedy Dragon Ball podcast in the universe where we attempt to watch every single episode and iteration of Dragon Ball that has ever existed. And then we get together and we talk about it in a fun, improv-y, comedy-y fashion. And we are back, baby. We are back now. Oh, it's been it's too been, long. Yeah, it's been longer than a week. Uh, it's been longer than a week, but it's good to to finally, you know, be be back in the saddle. Gonna ride out the rest of this year by going into the opening segment of the podcast, which is Kame housekeeping. Before any party, you got to clean up unless you're trash. And baby, we aren't trash. Mm-mm. Uh, this is the get you ready and get you set up so you can have an enjoyable podcast experience and the first order of Kame housekeeping is the dare we say world famous one minute roundup oh oh reggie 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 wake up what don't, i was sleeping don't don't move don't move i can't even wipe sleep out of my don't eye. you even wipe sleep out of your eyes because you know what i'm i, I woke up okay. outside the mm-hmm. tent and Yep, and I'm, bl- I'm staring dead into the eyes of a. I'm staring dead into the eyes of a bear. Reggie, I'm staring dead into the eyes of a bear. All right. Well, smart on you for not moving. What's it? Okay, got a few. Let me. I'm going to quickly pull out the flow chart for in case you encounter bear. Thank you. That's why I asked you to wake up right. and tell you not to slowly, move. Slowly. Hold it quickly. Slowly. Oh, oh. He's, he's sniffing. Reggie, he's sniffing me. Okay. I'll go straight down to sni- is he sniffing? All right, he's sniffing. Yes. Uh, All right. It says put your hands up. Okay. They're up. And make yourself look bigger. How do? Um. Uh, it said uh, it- I I own a Model A. I'm a, I own a Model A. Get out of my face, bear. Yeah, it's, it says tell them about your investments. I, you know what's a good idea to invest in? Sharecropping. <laughs> That's right, bear. That's right, bear. I'm <laughs> invested in the community. I laid a stone at City Hall in, <laughs> in New Burbank. That's right, bear. That's right. You see these spurs? These spurs <laughs> are recycled iron from a... A poor old rail car that fell to pieces one hot summer's day. That's right, Bear. I'm invested in the betterment of society. Mm. All right. Does he seem... Okay. Uh, next question. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, and, and see. Uh, I wanted to go so far with that, but we cannot because, as the rules state... Uh, the one minute roundup starts with a Western improv scene to loosen up our improv muscles, get us ready for the comedy ahead. But when one of us breaks during the scene, usually it's me. Um, <laughs> we have to end that scene and continue with a one minute roundup proper, which is where one of us, this time Vince, has to summarize everything that we've covered in Dragon Ball thus far. But he has to do it in under a minute. Oh my and God. we 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 do this dumb thing for one the entertainment of you good folks out there and two so you don't have to go back and listen to all of our old episodes maybe this is your first episode and you're like why the fuck are where where's the kamehame haws not the gurger bears <laughs> we don't want that that famous sports team the gurger bears the gurger bears. Bears. <laughs> bears from gurkago <laughs> A famous suburb of Chicago's minor league team. <laughs> the Gerger Bears. Bears. Sponsored by Johnson & Johnson. Please, that's not here then, nor there, because if this is your first episode, we're going to catch you up real quick with this beautiful, elegant one-minute roundup I, from Mr. Vince himself. Before I get started, uh, I have to say it's... It, just to go on the, there's a bear pun. I have to say, Aaron. I, I just gotta okay. get it out. All right. Let Instead me, of neither I'm here nor there. Back up. Yeah. Take take a step mm. back. Instead of mm. neither here nor there. I'm I not thought, looking directly at you. I thought you could have said neither here nor bear. <laughs> I just that's uh, it. Just neither here nor bear. Just had to say it. I'm I'm mad at myself. 
because I missed it. That's that's so that's so it's right there. You were too close to the sentence, Aaron. Yeah, it was bearing me right in the face. Oh, he's back, ladies and gentlemen. Do this roundup, boy. And now I gotta do that roundup. Okay, in three. Oh no, in three. There's seven magic dragon balls. When you get them all together, you can make a wish for anything at all. Uh, Bulma meets Goku when they're children and they're out in the forest and they find Oolong and all these other characters. They stop Emperor Pilaf from taking over the world. Goku turns into a giant ape. Blah, 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 blah. We go on to the martial arts tournament where he loses to Master Roshi in disguise in his training. He met Krillin. Then Goku goes off, finds the four star dragon ball that belonged to his grandpa. Then he ends up killing the Red Ribbon Army, stopping them from using the Dragon Balls to take over the world. He ends up fighting his grandpa, who's a ghost, brought back to life by a witch, who's Master Roshi's sister. Then he goes off and trains for the next martial arts tournament, where he loses to Tien Shin Han and Triclops. Then, after that tournament, Krillin dies. Goku fights King Piccolo, killing him, meeting Yajirobe in the process. Then he meets God, who's like, okay, you gotta train because Piccolo, he had a kid at the end, and you gotta beat that kid in three years. Goku trains for three years with Mr. Popo Kami. Now he's fighting Piccolo in the last match of the Tenkaichi Tournament! Uh, did, Vince, I got so scared. What did you, <laughs> I was like, oh no, he's not going to make it. He's talking about Baba too much. I know. Uh, I don't know what compelled me to bring Baba into this, but it always trips me up. But I just had to keep going. It's nice to see her sometimes. It's nice to see Baba sometimes. In a group setting. Oh, always not one-on-one. A, one-on-one. All she's going to do is bring out that magic ball and tell you how when you're going to die and all yeah. that kind of stuff. You don't even ask for it. Yeah, she's like, oh... I can see in my crystal ball that you left your wallet at home, so I'm going to be paying for this one, aren't I? Uh, if you don't mind. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> I, did, I didn't. Pl- I didn't plan this. I mean, you you can read the future. You should have known. Mm-hmm. You could have sent a text. <laughs> Said to get your. Don't forget your wallet. I know, right? That's all I'm saying. It's the little Look, things that make a friendship really work. Vince, I gotta say that roundup for for. I dare say we haven't done this in about a month. Oh, it did. trust in me, real it felt, time felt like it. Felt like it yeah, in real yeah, time. Yeah. Good. I mean, good. I mean, I think we're knocking the rust off, getting those cobwebs cleaned out pretty, pretty well. That was a that was a good roundup. Oh yeah, feeling like the Tin Man from Oz, just mm-hmm. getting out, popping, Slick. locking, baby. Ooh, <laughs> slick with oil. About to get on down, get on down, rule. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me just laugh about Oz for a second. <laughs> no, let we can just all laugh about the Everybody Wiz. Laugh about Oz, and then the Wiz, and then whatever live action musical that's coming out on CBS next. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah. the next part of comedy housekeeping is to let you good folks know that Vince and I we watch two different versions of Dragon Ball. I watch the English subtitled version. Vince watches the English dub version, and we do this for a few reasons. Everything, I guess, everything we do has a few reasons. We're not singularly minded uh, Believe. <laughs> at all. <laughs> um, first, it was a mistake that turned into a disaster d- piece. <laughs> I, I love forget that. the term we came up with. <laughs> um, it's now it's now a mistake it, to disaster piece. Yeah. Also, on Missy Elliott's new album, disaster <laughs> piece. Is it? Because it should be. That yeah, one's for free, Lee. M- Missy Elliott. Girl, you got, here you go. Here, here from, from, from us to you. Happy early birthday. Yeah, with a bow. <laughs> but it, it, it's become a wonderful, seg- a wonderful, usually short <laughs> segment on this show. And the reason we kept doing it is because there are wonderful, funny, sometimes horrifying differences uh, between each version. Things that get lost in translation. Uh, things that had to be changed for localization. Um, and the first thing that usually gets changed is the title. Uh, Vince, I, I could go first. It's not, it ain't no big thing. Oh, okay. Um, go ahead. I'm, I'm, right. I've been waiting to hear what your title is all day. Okay. <laughs> You're get ready to be disappointed because episode 146 of Dragon Ball, Son Goku's Trap. Okay. Now, mine... Mine might surprise you. I'm just going to go right into mine. I, I'm not going to give any co- commentary to that because episode 146 of Dragon Ball, Goku's Trap. Now, mm, Goku apostrophe S trap. Goku apostrophe S trap. Now, Aaron, uh, I 
I thought for sure I was going to get what every boy who hosts a podcast about Dragon Ball wants is something called a Yahtzee. A Yahtzee is where both English and Japanese titles match completely. And because of the article, son, I have missed the boat yet again. And Aaron, I just don't know if my heart can take it anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Uh, you're you're a bear. You're a very good friend. <laughs> Does that Charmin cushion the blow? <laughs> don't you don't you bring Charmin into this? Those creeps have got us fetishizing toilet paper in a way that's not okay. It's Mom, not Dad, okay. Look at my butt. It's clean. It's, no, get in the toilet. Get in the bathroom with me and look at smell it up. Look how cl- look how clean it is. It smells. I look. I'm a little bear and I wear glasses. And I'm gonna run out of the bathroom and go and take my bare butt. And show you all that, hey, my hiney's clean. Uh huh. It's Charmin clean. I made a song while I was taking a dump because I'm a psychopath. Huh. I'm crazy bear. No. We should, we should eat our son, right? <laughs> that's, that's what you're trying to tell us. Try again. I think, yes, try again, Charmin bears. <laughs> your, your family. <laughs> you know, most people say, love your family, love you and your family. Like, uh, best to you and your family. I don't wish anything good on these bears. <laughs> Or on the Charmin Company for what they did to these red bears. These rare red bears. Goldilocks is just looking through the window like, uh, next one, I guess. Oh, man. Jeez. They had they ordered Domino's, not Porridge. I was going to stop here, but uh, I guess it's Porridge House. Yeah, it's a Porridge House. <laughs> they only have one kind of TP. De- uh, Matt, no wonder they use the TP. No wonder they love this Charmin stuff. They're ordering Dominoes all the time. <laughs> These bears are just monsters. They're a family <laughs> of monsters. <laughs> uh, One's just standing in a corner hitting that Charm, the Amazon button for Charmin. Oh, always. And it's never a problem because they got institutional wealth. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these bears are from old money. These are old money bears that... <laughs> I'm sorry. I have a bear in here that sounds like a cat. Yeah. <laughs> these grizzled money bears. Oh, that's just grizzled money bears. Getting their paws on all kinds of investments. Uh, digging their claws into our advertising space. Oh, these bears. Put put on pants the bears, Charmin. It's 2019. <laughs> If a bear needs glasses, surely, <laughs> yes, he could. He could see that he needs pants. <laughs> if a dad, if a dad version of a bear wears a tie and a collar, he should be wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, they have That's... couches and TVs. These bears should be in pants. They should be clothed. I don't care how clean your butt is. Don't sit on the couch, bear ass or no bear ass. No one should. We need to move on, Aaron. Your puns, are getting, <laughs> your puns are getting too good. Again, normally this is a shorter segment of the show, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's we can get into the episode proper. We can leave all our bears behind and, <laughs> and continue with the show. I almost threw up with joy, <laughs> like a toilet paper gun. It's just a leaf blower, exactly. But they do at concerts in the nineties. What? I never went to concerts in the nineties. Uh, it was it was a good time. We had oh, we had so much money to just fucking throw away. Oh, the nineties, so much excess fabric money. <laughs> if that happened now, guaranteed everyone would be scooping it up <laughs> off the floor. It's like oh, this toilet paper's still good, still good. I caught still the roll good, hole. <laughs> Speaking of, I don't know. We're just going to get into it. Piccolo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, remember, he's fucking giant now. Uh-huh. Um, I, I did want to call out that in my version of the recap, I mean, there's a lot of wordplay going on early in this episode, so I want to keep it going. The announcer uh, finally says the namesake of the last episode. He's like, and even when Goku didn't think Piccolo's size could be more imposing. He got even bigger, making him really junior no more. And I said, snaps for that. I said, snaps for that. I think the narrator is in his bag on this one, so he's got to give he got to give props where props are due. Um, And then we can get on to the episode. He really he's like, fuck, that's the title. I got to get this in here. 
Well, he's looking at he's looking at last week's copy, and there's nothing mm-hmm. in there about it. He goes, "Why didn't you guys tell me that this was in here? I could have I could have worked in Junior No More a number of times in the beginning or the end recap." Uh, Do, uh, nothing to say, Gary. No, I guess not. Look, we don't. This is uh, we're just kind of going working through a back catalog. This was written maybe a month ago, so mm. we didn't think about the you know the narration's written last. We don't. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. the title's written last. Mm. If I can correct, well, I don't even know, Gary. Okay, Gary. <laughs> I thought I'm just the voice director, Gary. I and you're and you're a really good one when you're assertive, and and mm. most of the time I'm I'm acting out to get you to to be the. Acting voice acting director, I know you can be. You you pushed me to places I didn't think I could go before, and I don't know. Ever it was since all beautiful, you, thanks. But I need you to like. I need you to get that fire again. Well, you know, it's just I'm going through a divorce. Okay, I didn't want to. I didn't want to bring it up. I oh. didn't, you know, I don't want people to look down on me and 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 pity me. I don't want any of that. That's why I didn't bring it up in front of work. Well, why Why would I pity oh, no. you? Gary, why would I pity you? She's been out of your league for years. Wait, what? The the disparity between if you look at the pie chart I'm holding up, mm-hmm. I, I don't know why this pie chart represents how you two have grown apart, but as you can see clearly, Gary, that uh, it was going to happen. It's going to happen. A, it says on a scale f- like percentage of hotness in. Gary's relationship, yep. and I'm just a thin sliver. Yeah, you're a tiny I'm ba- sliver. I'm barely recognizable on the color spectrum of that. Yeah, I, you can see that the uh, second largest part is uh, the chameleon you both share. <laughs> Handsome devil, that chameleon. But Geral- Gary. Geraldo, yes. Yes. <laughs> Let me ask this, if I may, if that's okay. Sure, uh, sure, sure. Next to the pie chart, uh, you have a, a very saucy picture of my wife. Oh, uh, and she's holding up today's newspaper. Oh, um, th- with today's date. Well, uh, Gary, here's the here's the thing. Uh, you shot a picture. Had it in the eight. It being the eighties, you had. Yeah. You shot a pic. You took a picture of my wife. Yeah. You or, you organized a photo shoot. I organized a photo shoot. I got Print a picture out, of your wife. Then- I printed it out at a. Uh, Five minute or less, Kinko Kinko Express. Very oh, expensive. Those are new. Cost yeah. me over forty five dollars for one photo. Can you believe? Ooh, nineteen eighties movie. Yeah, that's insane. Oh my god. Anywho, yes, I did all of that, and uh, I left it pinned to the board as I was making it. I was using that as a reference for how beautiful your wife is, and um, you're not the man she uh, left me for. Oh then? no, Gary, I I'm I'm in there all the way. I, All right, you motherfucker. You better listen up and listen good. I'm yes. grabbing you by the scruff of your shirt, oh, oh, and I'm slapping yes. you around. Oh, 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 yes. I'm kissing your forehead gently. Oh, oh. Making you confused. I, don't, I, I, I think I'm ready, to, I'm, I'm ready to do these I'm, lines again. I'm twirling your chest hair, oh. confusing you further. Now Gary. you take that to the fucking booth as I kick you in the in your oh. sharp and clean bum. Oh. You get in there and you deliver this narration. Okay, uh, here we go. Recording last, now, go. Last time on Dragon Ball. Goku was fighting Piccolo, and now Piccolo got so big he's junior no more. I just came in my pants. <sighs> I think uh, I think that was really good. One and done. Thanks, Gary. Could you could you not sleep with my wife with uh, my ex wife anymore? No. As a professional courtesy. As a as a courtesy to her, I cannot. <laughs> and, and, oh, that's understandable. And <laughs> see. Uh, wow, it's very rare we get peeks behind the curtain like that into the uh, into the studio. Into the those are old recordings from the eighties. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty raw. And you, could, and you could tell it was a real argument <laughs> that they didn't plan out ahead of time. You know, this Absolutely. wasn't some sort of act. No, they weren't <laughs> just was, coming up with arguments on the spot. <laughs> yeah, they didn't suddenly realize they had a divorce. <laughs> That's just that's just how conversations sounded in the eighties. <laughs> Everybody was surprised <laughs> at that the knowledge they knew about their own lives. <laughs> yes.
It was a time of great excess in the 80s, and nobody paid attention to their own lives. <laughs> I, th- I mean, I think get ready for a bit heavy episode, because not a lot of things happen. Cool things happen in this episode, but not a lot of... It's mainly action, I think. There's a lot of really cool yeah. action. So we're going to... We'll, we'll get as deep as we can in the action without telling you... Trying to tell you over and over again, go go watch the episode. Go watch the episode. Yeah. Go watch the episode. Go watch the episode. I'll mm-hmm. just say it now. Um, so when we get into it, you'll know that there are things that we just can't describe accurately because we, we can't animate with yeah. our voices in the air for you. No, not no. yet. Not yet. Not yet, but we're getting there. We have to do our uh, concentration breathing. Full concentration breathing? Total concentration breathing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Form one. <laughs> form one to form two oh. to six with the footwork of four. <laughs> when they get the when they get the dub, is that just gonna sound like people doing ripping bong hits? Probably. <laughs> it's like, why is there a bubbling sense? <laughs> That's the water breathing. Yeah, it makes sense. Wait, even for lightning? Oh, I don't Ooh, know. Too, oh. I, I've said it. Oh, I, shut up. Look. I'm gonna say is if you savvy listeners will realize that I fucking called it, this is all a plant in the in the title reveals it. This is a trap. This is some trickery that Goku has done to King Pickle to Piccolo. Uh, he wanted him to get bigger. Yes, because what he does is first he says, "This is what I've been waiting for." Now I can live out my vor fantasies by kamehamehaing <laughs> myself into your mouth and sliding down that gullet Ooh. and then beating the shit out of you from inside. <laughs> I did like that part. I always, I love a good uh, beat up a giant thing from the inside out. I think that always, uh, I mean, the media that I subscribe to always is satisfying. I think back to Gears of War 2. Uh, when they got stuck inside of a giant worm and you're fighting your way through and then the end of the level is you have to cut with uh, with one of the chainsaw guns. You have to cut a big hole in the side of this giant worm and then you kick your way out. It's awesome. Which came first? Gears of War 2 or Sharknado? When he when Ian Ziering oh. cuts himself out of a shark with the chains. Oh, how did I forget about that? Oh mm-hmm. my god! Um, oh, when did Sharknado come out? This uh, is we a, can't look. We can't look this up. Yeah, who stole from who? Who stole from who? Was it Sharknado? Gears of War? Which one of them stole from Dragon Ball first? Is yeah. what we're trying to get at. Also, here here's a free tweet from you. Just put two of those pictures up and say same energy. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That's 30K likes right there. Done. Done and done. Internet broken. Uh, I was going to reference Mickey Mouse punching the uh, uvula of a giant when he was swallowed one time. Oh, yes. Mickey has done that, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. we've also got uh, Pinocchio. Yeah. In That's right. Walt Disney it? invented Vore. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, maybe that's why he had his head frozen so he could be swallowed by something <laughs> giant later on. Imagineers, how's that giant mouth coming along? Uh, I don't want that double dare one. I want a good one. Of course, of course, Mr. Mr. Disney. We just don't get to see you down here in R&D that often. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, the, uh, the mouth that you wanted for um, mm-hmm. to recreate Mickey's land in M- Mickey and Giantville. Uh, and, yes, as you can see here, we have a full u- uvula all set up. Uh, it's about... As large as it needs to be for a child to punch it, and we can scale it up for adults. Uh, would you like to give it a try, sir? Uh, yes, yeah, slide for uh, slick me down with the with the patent pending Disney fluid. Yes, of course. Uh, just step right here. Initiating fluid immersion. Oh, yes, wah, this pleases wah. Disney. Fluid immersion complete. Okay, uh, Mr. Disney, now if you could step right in, right over here, uh, we'll get you in the cherry picker, and then you'll be able to slide down the tongue to the uvula below, where you can uh, punch to your heart's desire. 
Okay. Yes, punch. And you've in that that area is completely blocked. Like no one could see me down there, right? Uh, uh, absolutely not. You sir. put you put the courtesy curtain up. We currently have a courtesy curtain up for testing purposes. Yes, sir. A sock on the doorknob. Uh, if you'd like, we could put as many Just, tubed or otherwise, sir. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, it, it's the it's the gross fifties. We should probably use those like very thin black dress socks. Ah, uh, of course, of course. Uh. With, I, the, <laughs> with the little garter belts. Yeah, yes, yes, like yes. We ha- like how we like to wear? Like how all men wear these days. Mm-hmm. And might I say, uh, Mr. Disney, uh, your mustache looks amazing, by the way. <laughs> hey, uh, nice games. Back at you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to my fetish hole now. Uh, bye-bye. Did, did Mr. Disney say fetish hole? I heard it. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, and, and see. see. Yeah, let's get out of that. Walt Disney, big old freak, you heard it here first. Ooh, he loves the vor. He, lo- he loves the vor. If if I can be serious, though, for a moment. Yes. I, I, I think it's fairly well documented. If you go back through the archives, I'm not the biggest fan of Goku. Yeah. You know, aside from the dad jokes, aside from him being a big old dummy, uh-huh, uh-huh. I always saw him as just a, well, I'm just going to punch it. Oh, I can't punch it? Let me get stronger. Cool, I can punch it now. This is one of the first times I've seen him use, I, I'm just proud of him for using a, the strategy. You're proud of our for, boy for growing up? Yeah, he became a man. He this did. is his bar mitzvah. This this really is it. I think this is where we're starting to see that Goku. And I think this is kind of echoed throughout Master Roshi's continued internal monologue throughout this entire thing. He's always like, "Geez, Goku's really that tough." I guess he is. That that sentiment is echoed in Master Roshi's internal monologue, at least in the in the dubbed version. He's often in his own head talking about how, "Wow, Goku's not only." Tough. He's unhumanly tough. And he's not only strong, but he's crazy strong. He's not only clever, he's cunning as well. Like he keeps saying that as like as this fight goes on. And you do see the, the examples, like you said. And this is the big one. It's I mean, it's kind of the culmination of all of these 146 episodes. It definitely it hit at this moment for me. Yeah. I'm like, damn, we watched Goku grow up. Mm-hmm. And to soon just go back to big dummy at some point soon. <laughs> Eventually, he'll be dumbed down for no reason at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for no, yeah, he'll stop being cunning or clever. He'll just yeah. be a strong idiot. <laughs> so let, let's let's enjoy this while we can. Yes, he gets coughed out again. I was surprised by this because I forgot because it's been months. <laughs> uh, comes out, he has something in his hand that he throws to Tien. Does this have a? Does this like little jar have a cool name? It's still called the Denki jar. Um, no, because Denki's think... rice cooker. Mm-hmm. So it's okay, just a yeah, jar right. jar. It's just a jar jar. <laughs> but yes, uh, Goku throws to Who's Tien. Who's inside, Vince? The jar that contains God Himself. <laughs> what if God was in a jar? I'm talking about Kami, folks. Kami is freed. He's out and about. Most people. Most people are confused why there are two piccolos. Yes. Uh, Roshi is on top of it. He's like, oh, you're com- you're God, right? Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> you don't watch me at certain times, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you don't see what I do underneath my shell at night, right? <laughs> you uh you don't look you don't peek under covers with your god powers, because that'd be cause that'd be bad on you. Why would I do that? <laughs> Hey, you know, I mean, look, if I was God, hey, hey. But you're not. I am. Mm -hmm. And I know you well, Roshi. But no, I don't watch you late at night. Oh, you heard about me? Corin talks about you often. Oh, what's he say? I'm a great martial artist. I'm a good fighter. He says you're a bit of a perv and lazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey. Uh, Sorry, that's a nervous laugh. I'm meeting God for the first time. Hey, <laughs> hey. Ha, I get it. But a what? A perv? I... Look, I only did 
things. We'll call them things. Uh, uh-huh. When I was training with Corin, uh-huh. Ollie did things uh, when uh, when he went out for groceries. He'd say, hey, I'm getting groceries. Do you want to come with me? You know, you you never get to leave the tower. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I'll just hang out here for a little bit. I, uh, how to, long do you think you're going to be out? To that end, I'd just like to know, why would you put what you did in the cupboard with the revolving water where dishes need to be cleaned. That's all I need to know. That's what Corin mostly talked to me about. I had to fix his plumbing. I rinsed the thing. Oh, the thing? <laughs> Kami is unfamiliar with this. <laughs> Look, there there are children and ladies about. I don't want to get too deep into it. There's also a giant battle going on with your double. Does this have anything to do with why when I was in the body of a human, I had to release fluids in a bathroom? I mean, that's a different thing unless you want to make it a part of the other thing. That's Wait, you can do that thing while doing those two things? It's involved in it. Uh... Why would you then make your pants so complicated? <laughs> I mean, I just wear shorts, elastic band, Mm. easy access, just pull it down. See, draped robes for me. All right, Roshi, you're cool. Hey, God's all right. Ah. So so what you're saying is that God's cool with everything I've ever done. All right, great, bye. You heard it here, folks, God's cool with it. Don't don't get away from that young lady. (laughs) Uh, I'm writing it all in this book that uh, I'm going to put in every hotel. Don't. Yeah. See. <laughs> See, people twist things for uh-huh. their own good. Yeah, of course. Which is the danger of uh, which is the danger of some things. Oh yeah. Okay, I'll keep referring to things as things. Things as things. We just have to refer refer of those things as those things. Oh boy, Roshi, you rap. Come on, there's a fight going on. <laughs> Get your head in the game. Um, but yeah, uh, folks, half the crowd is confused. Others assume that this is not the Piccolo that they've seen fighting right now. Um, also, one is wrinkly green and one is not wrinkly green. But yeah, Kami's back. And the Piccolo, after all this, he shrunk back down. And so I'm just, I'm just really huge fan of Piccolo. I, I've said that a, a bunch. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah. God, th- watching these over again makes me realize why so many people fell in love with Dragon Ball and then, you know, converted to Z and stuff. It's, this stuff is, it, it looks so good. He's really the best villain we've had in the entirety of Dragon Ball. Yeah. Because he's someone that we, there's a little bit of humanizing to him because we saw him as a kid. You know, he's not full on evil like King Piccolo was. Right. Uh, he can go toe to toe with Goku. He seems more like a, and again because they bigen Goku up, he seems more like an equal to Goku, right? Versus his pappy, right? It's and you know his dad has lackeys and he's just this. I yeah, he's just. He, I agree, Piccolo good. <laughs> yeah, it's less of a. Um, I don't know. I, I've been playing a lot of video games recently, so I'll do this in video game terms. It's like. If at the end of each level you fought the same boss that was getting as strong as you were at that point in the game, you know what I mean? It's not like, oh, you have to go through like two mini bosses and a mid boss and then fight mm-hmm. the big boss. Uh, Sekiro does this. If you've anybody who's played Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, there is a there's a there's an opponent that you fight multiple times and his powers grow along with yours throughout the course of the story, which makes that character uh a lot more fun to fight and also a lot more fun to like watch develop. And it seems like we're, we didn't get to see junior develop so much, but we're getting to see what that development led to. And it's a menacing, tougher, cooler version of his dad. So, Oh yeah. Take that dad. Take that dad. It's like we're Boruto over here talking about how dads <laughs> are. And how their friends are cooler than the forms of the dead. All right, I mean, done. piano was uh, pretty cool. I do miss piano. I wish that uh, uh, Junior had a piano like a little henchman. Mm-hmm. He call him Kitar. Pick yeah, because because he's cool and modern. He's cool and he's modern. He wears baggy pants, <laughs> hammer pants, if you will. Hammer pants. Yeah, 
Because you can't touch this. Because <laughs> he's too fast. He's, he's too fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'll say this so we can say this. Once everything kind of gets settled, they go back in the sky to fight. But during this time, as we're looking at the crowd, they're doing the thing of the cheap animation thing of we're just going to pan. We're going to draw one thing, pan across to save on animation, but to show that, you know, people are watching. There's a little bit of motion to it, so it's not just a still frame. And I was thinking about this. And uh, as you'll hear in the pregame, maybe, I don't know when we're going to release that pregame, but we were talking about, we're, we're, I think we're both, there are a lot of series that we're watching now. And I know people like to dunk on sort of, the cheapness of anime sometimes yeah. because they're, you know, they're putting out a weekly show, uh, especially at this point where it's hand drawn, you have to find ways to save money, to save time. And I know a lot of people will say, well, that's cheap animation. But to me, that is, I love smaller budget things. I love seeing the, the strings, yeah, you know, attached to an extent because it shows like, we don't have any fucking money or time. How do we make this good? Yeah. And in the pan, in the pan across, I'm like, what's wrong with that? Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Let's because you have to save it for what's coming up. Oh yeah. Which is that good, good fighting in the sky animation. Oh, oh yeah. my. This God. is some. This is some like very reminiscent to me of uh, the Cell Saga where Goku goes Super Saiyan. To fight Cell in the arena that Cell builds. And they're, you know, it's just like this fight in midair. They're moving so fast that you can't see them for a while. Then you start, then you hear them. And then you see sparks. And then you see like wispy images of them clashing. And then the fight really takes off. That's one of my favorite things that Dragon Ball does. <laughs> that, that feels like to me something that only Dragon Ball does really, really well. Yeah. It's super good. And, and like to that end, just before that fight started, like the fight restarts again, uh, there's a point where Kami has a very cool look on his face. And he's like, I can't even track them anymore. Holy crap. Like, you know, it's just like, I'm like, yes, this is this is the power sur- like surpassing level that I know and love of Dragon Ball and why I fell in love with anime and over, like, you know, all the themes come through in this little fight. It's great. Yeah. You asked if God was one of us. Well, I can't watch a fight. That's what happens. <laughs> oh, sorry. Did I say that I couldn't see the fight out loud? I must yep. have been uh, drunk. <laughs> Wait, I'm Kami? God. I can see everything. Kami, this is Krillin. Sup? Uh, nice Hello, to meet you. Hello, small, bald human. Well, that's a little rude, but uh, you're God, so I won't push it. And you're short. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Go I, on, I'm sorry. Two for two, God, I guess. Uh, anyway, how'd you get drunk? Oh, uh, well, you know what was in that jar at the very bottom? You. Me and a nip of whiskey. A nip? But I was tiny. Drunk. I was so small. Mm. What? Not like no, you don't hold understand. Hold on, let me, let me pull, fifth, let me pull this jar A fifth to you out. is like a gallon. ho <laughs> Kami. Let me pull this jar out. It, it smells like milk, Kami. Huh? Wholesome, non-alcoholic milk. Uh, and I know milk, buddy. I used to deliver it. Uh, That's right. I'm working class. Oh, good Good for you, uh, small-minded human. Right. Anywho, fine. That one's I more can't insulting. See, fine, fine. Look, I can't see them. I can't see them. They're, they're moving too fast for even... God's eye. Hey, it's me, Yamcha. I see him now. What the absolute fuck? <laughs> yeah, and, they're up in the sky. And and scene. Scene. I did Which like is that. true. It, this, is, uh, this is how it unfolds. <laughs> Yamcha's the first one to spot him. <laughs> also, I, I to, to the, like in that moment where you know we talk, you were talking about sometimes the, the people saying that the animation in, in certain scenes of this early anime looks cheap or recycled or not not clean uh i think when yamcha looks up the lines get thick around him and he's like shaded a little bit more crudely uh but it works for me i think i like that 
in that moment. Yeah. It just it it felt like oh, this is close to or closer to maybe the the experience of reading the manga for the first time. Maybe I don't know. I just liked it a lot, and I thought it gave it some character that you don't always see in stuff that's super clean now. Um, so take that, haters. Yeah, it gets real dramatic. Yes. Um, speaking of dramatic, Goku after a tussle, he he starts to fall, and when he does, he's about to hit the ground. And he does some Fire Force stuff. Speaking of other animes. Ooh. That, uh, that is insane to me, and I wish he would do it all the time. Yes. Again, he, list of techniques <laughs> that have fallen by the wayside. He, I mean, if it's if it were really super, he'd bring out all the greatest hits. Mm-hmm. But uh, he gives a Kamehameha, but not with his hands. <laughs> with his feet. With his feet. He gets little rocket boots. He Superman punches Piccolo with both fists. Ugh. Again, Roshi's internal monologue is hilarious to me because he then says it, it to his in his head. He goes, "Hmm, a, a Kamehameha wave with the feet. Only the most skilled martial artist can ever even what? attempt that feat." I'm like, Roshi, you didn't do any of that shit. Yeah. There's no way Roshi. Had you the, didn't know he could do that. You didn't know he could do that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying is Roshi should have been just like. Oh, damn. Uh, da- yeah, just damn. <laughs> damn, Goku. Back at it again with the Kamehameha. <laughs> with those, what were they, Nikes? I forget. I'm not up on memes, even old ones. <laughs> they were vans. Oh, Kami come, loves oh, come. a good meme. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things I gave to humans was memes. <laughs> no, I've seen the painting. It's you mm-hmm. holding... <laughs> You 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 have the f- stock photo of the guy looking back at the girl. Yes. And and you're handing it to Adam. I've seen that painting. I'm handing it to Adam who's 14 years old. <laughs> Adam from Pensacola, Florida. Yes. He's got great bandwidth in all the time in the world. <laughs> anyway, cool fight. <laughs> so it's, you know, God gave Piccolo gave memes to man, but he's also about to give a shock to god your transitions to, uh, are so Goku. hot right now uh i forgot that go piccolo can use his antenna to shock people uh, so did i again underused technique in later years anywho it's more than special beam cannon folks Hmm. yeah piccolo is more than special beam cannon and then that homing attack that he uses on 17 very good technique but yes, he's got is. others uh, he barely uses he stretches his arms in super i know that but that's about it. But look, he he does a shocky. Then Goku, as Goku's down, he flies in, says, die, pulls his hand back for a punch. And then commercial. (gasps) Do you you hear those sleigh bells, Vince? I do. They're they're definitely not in our imagination. They're real. They're real. Look, the holiday season is just around the corner. And what better way to celebrate the holidays than by supporting the things that I do that are not anime related in any way, shape, or form? Hooray! So, uh, as some of you may know, uh, I, my, real, my real big boy job is an editor. And the first feature film I edited is coming out on November 15th. It's called Feast of the Seven Fishes. It's a fun comedy that takes place in the 80s, and it's about Italian-Americans and the way they celebrate Christmas. And if you've got a crazy family, or if you love 80s stuff, or if you need some more romance in your life, uh, this movie will cover all that. Plus, I edited it so you know it's good. (sighs) The crowd goes wild. (sighs) Whoa, this crap. Vince, you got 35 people in your apartment. All right, con- uh, please, everyone. Con- quiet, everybody, I'm bl- quiet. I'm blushing. I'm anime blushing. <laughs> In my hands behind my head because I'm embarrassed. But uh, if you, if this seems like it's up your alley, uh, the best way to support me on this is to pre-order it wherever you can. Right now on iTunes, you can pre-order the movie. Uh, I don't know when the other platforms will have it for pre-order. You can pre-order. You can add it to your wish list on Google Play. Ooh, yeah, you could do that. That that would also help. Um, 
but I'm not just asking you to pre-order for for no reason. Uh, we're it's a pretty small movie, man. You know, it was less made for less than a million dollars. Our marketing our marketing budget is teeny tiny baby minuscule, but getting pre-orders now is a way to uh, to to trick the algorithms. So like iTunes and other places will start featuring us more the more pre-orders we get. I believe the way it was pre-order, it could be misquoted. Pre-order. Pre-order. The, <laughs> the way pre-order. it was explained to me is that uh, on iTunes, I think it's once you hit 500 pre-orders, which again again is like baby minuscule. That's that's not a lot. It's a lot for mm. our kind of our movie cuz it cuz n- no one knows what it is yet. Once you hit like 500 pre-orders, I think they start featuring you in their little scroll feed. I don't know the specifics. I hear th- this is information I get like third, fourth hand. <laughs> but if you do want to, su- look, if you want to support me in this movie, uh, the best thing you do is pre-order it on whatever platform you can find. Uh, we're actually beating ProMare on pre-orders on iTunes. Ooh. So better than Pro, I don't I don't know about that. I didn't watch ProMare. Yeah. And those are two entirely different beasts. Beat ProMare. Beat but dare I say bear. better than Pro Man? Beat Pro Man. I won't can and not can the can on that. But look, you really think Joker needs to be number two on pre orders? Boo. Yeah, boo. boo. Yes. So, again, if you want to help me out, I whatever you can do, I would appreciate the hell out of it. Feast of the Seven Fishes, it comes out November 15th. Look for it anywhere you get your movies. Uh, and more, inf- I'll have as information gets sent to me, I'll start spreading that around more. Uh, thank you all again. Also, this was a real commercial. <laughs> real, <laughs> not commercial. like those fake. Real. I commercial. mean, the other ones are real. The other ones are but real. This one, but this one's the realest. Sometimes those real other ones we do are just more philanthropic in nature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those other ones are. I'm looking sideways as I say real. This one's I'm looking <laughs> dead at you. And it's real. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you all. I hope you pre-order. Bye. Pre-order it. Feast of Seven Fishes. Vince, oh, Vince is in it. And I'm in it too. <laughs> Why did I forget that part? You're saving the best part for the end. Bye. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bye, suckers. I'm out. <laughs> Die. Goku. Uh, I didn't get hit. Ah. Uh, uh. Hurry, Goku, get up. We can fight him together. That way we'll be sure to win. No, I want to fight him by myself because of a warrior's pride. Uh, martial artist's pride. But Goku, the world is at stake. Nah, you know. Goku, nah. I, Goku I said steak. Ooh, are we getting that? If uh, Do I get that afterwards? <laughs> Maybe if you fight with Kami, you get steak. Mm, no, I like fighting. Uh, wait, hold on. Flop sweat, flop sweat. <laughs> There are two buttons in front of me. <laughs> Fight by myself as a, and have pride as a martial artist. Talk slow to keep keeping someone to do that sound effect. <laughs> or do I fight with Kami and get food? Uh, I love fighting! Curses. By myself. Oh, I was hoping you would say co-op. I do visit. I mean, when I purchase food i do visit the local co-op good i I support small business kami invented co-ops man kami you are woke as fuck kami's on it baby everybody else (laughs) is two thousand years late (laughs) you didn't even say two thousand and late because that's how that's how with it you are they're literally two thousand years Oh, that punch took oh, a lot out of me. I think we All have right. to and and see. That's fairly accurate as to what went down. We editorialized a bit. Kami saving Goku. Goku saying, get out of here. I want to fight it by myself for the tournament. But, Vince, I've got a question about the rules. Oh, since Kami inter again, no one's been knocked out of the arena. No one's been knocked out. Right. Kami just interfered. Mm-hmm. Isn't this already a DQ? Based on rules that apply to Goku, no, Aaron. 
It's not. Remember when he stopped the fight with Tien to take off his clothes and Krillin came on to get his shoes and stuff? Mm, that's I mean, different. Boy. It's a little different, but the announcer's still there. If there were rules against it, he may say something. But again, he's not very but good at his job all the time. He said uh, on the closing thing, he's like, Tien, can I take off my sh- shirt? Tien did a big gulp. Pulled out his non-collar and said, yeah, I guess, whatever, I don't care. <laughs> I guess you're right. Tien did agree to that. Yeah, uh, you think Piccolo's going to agree to Kami coming in? But I also think that's why it it didn't matter that much. I mean, I know I'm being a stickler. No, but, but rightfully again, so. Again, Goku should have lost a bunch of times. Yes, he should have. If we were following the actual rules. Mm-hmm. He didn't have that plot armor. Yeah. If we were going by the strictest of rules, then yes, Goku's been disqualified many a time. But I think the fact that what he does after that, or he's like, Piccolo, look, to make it fair, you can punch me as hard as you want. One free shot for the one that Kami, you know, hit you with. Kami, stop. And it's not its not as bad as the punch as we thought. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He even says, eh, you're getting weaker. That wasn't as strong as it usually Ooh. is. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I, I like. I think uh, Piccolo's the first enemy, or uh, that Goku's facing that actually like, brings this competitive spirit out of him. So he's talking trash. He's he's like all about the fight. He sees nothing else. Roshi even again. Roshi's internal monologue, right on point because he says, Ooh, "Give um, it to me." Uh, a true warrior thinks not of the fate of the world, but only of the strength of his opponent. Mine has a lot more shade. (laughs) Oh, give it to him. It's implied shade, but shade nonetheless. Roshi internal monologue. Or outer monologue. I couldn't tell. That's Goku. It would seem the world isn't particularly important in his eyes. (laughs) Beating opponents who are strong enough to excite him is all he wants. The the shade is not uh, subtle at all. (laughs) Uh, that's Goku. Uh, doesn't care about me, who raised him for several months and you know fed him and trained him all for free. Yeah, eh, I mean, eh, there's launch, but you know that's that's a human being. She chose to be there. I'm not counting her as currency. <laughs> um, that's all I'm gonna say. Or your best friend, or uh, or your other friends, or your fucking wife. Eh, but you know, yeah, whatever. Eh, blah, 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 blah. See, this is where criticism of Goku is, is right. Like when you take mm-hmm. it to that to that level, yeah, he needs to be thinking about the world, not about his stupid pride. And yeah, he's got like the guy that he spent so much time bringing back to life. You'd think he'd be a little bit more with it in terms of like, oh yeah, I barely beat him the last time. Maybe to keep my friend alive, I should just take the help that's given by God Himself. <laughs> At the same time, in the in, in the same token, Krillin, this poor, poor fool, <laughs> chimes in. Yeah, if things get out of hand, we can always team up to take them out. And I laughed. Piccolo also laughed. <laughs> uh, I think Piccolo and, said something um, that was very demeaning. Oh, yeah, give it to me. It's something along the lines of like, oh, he's like, you really think that this band of losers would stand up to me after losing to after losing their idol someone they idealize so much or something like that he's just like you look up to this loser and you think you losers are gonna beat me you losers no you're all losers of varying degrees losers you all suck you're all beneath me i'm stronger than all of you goku's like yeah guys he's right Mm -hmm. (laughs) he is stronger than all of you sorry i wanted to tell you guys like uh, at this point, maybe when I was 12. <laughs> but uh, since he said it first, I'm in the clear. <laughs> if we can big brain it for a second, I think that's where Goku gets his chutzpah as to why he's like, no, 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 guys. Let me fight him by myself. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you it's because you all suck <laughs> and you would die instantly. It's because I'm an asshole. I'll take the blame. Yeah, let me take the blame on this one. I'll just say it's my... My uh, unusually human pride. <laughs> yeah, my my re- my very very human like pride. <laughs> but it's yeah, there's a there's just back and forth, and we're sort of 
They're just arguing about power levels. Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's just a conversation of like, oh, I could tell you're getting a little tired. Uh, I could tell you're getting tired. Uh, that last punch, uh, your last punch. It's just an argument at Denny's mm-hmm. <laughs> outside of Anime NYC. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I want waffle fries. <laughs> Some grown ass adult man, his friends are just like, No, you don't need waffle fries. I want waffle fries, but I want them. Your doctor has said so many things <laughs> cut down fried food, cut down salts, cut down your fats, eat a banana at one point in time. I had a banana today, it was in an ice cream cone, <laughs> it was also ice cream shaped. I have banana, I have banana flavored ice cream. So what? <laughs> That's all, Kent. There weren't any. It, it, the biggest letters on the carton were no real bananas. This does not count as a fruit. I don't believe in the word no. <laughs> so I just saw real bananas. Hey, <laughs> I'm your friend who's dressed as Naruto, and I say you better believe that you're going to die of a heart attack if you keep up with this lifestyle. Look, hold on. I may be drunk from that the <laughs> Halloween after party. And I may I may be dressed as Drymon from the game Drymon Adventures. But... <laughs> No one got the costume. Nobody got the costume because I'm not blue and I'm not a cat. But don't you ever, ever throw Naruto into pun land. Okay? (laughs) Don't do it. I got got that bootleg of Naruto into pun land. If you guys want to watch that afterwards. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, he's <laughs> what the? F- I was here for this. <laughs> hey, guy, it's me, Naruto. The guy dressed as Naruto again. Uh, what the fuck just happened? I just watched it, but I'm not quite sure. Someone threw up. Hold and on, then, hold on, hold on. NYPD and here. Tom I'll, and I'll, Jerry. I'll, I'll, I'll explain. What- <laughs> Please, I can't believe my brain isn't registering what I just clearly saw. First thing <laughs> you got to do is you got to take your friend home, or else he's getting a ticket. Mm-hmm. For drunken public, okay? Second, we did get new sirens over at the precinct. You said they sounded like Tom and Jerry. Somebody else said they sounded like Yakko, Wacko, uh, and Dot. Yeah. We're getting a lot of WB and car- early early Hanna-Barbera on our sirens. Oh, yeah. and It's uh, a whoop, 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 whoop. It's a Kurt, you know. Yeah. Someone's doing a bongo run out of here whenever I hear that. Of course, of course, yeah. And that's also why our squad car looks like the mystery machine. Mm-hmm. I see your you. There's no engine. You're moving it with your feet. That's right. That's right. God damn these these budget cuts, man. Look, we partnered with Hanna Barbera. They're apparently the next big streaming service out of WB. So New York loves to brand, and they branded us the NYPD. All right. Well, <sighs> never forget. I'm taking my money home. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Believe it. <laughs> and see. Now, if that has not <laughs> happened on Ninth Avenue as you're leaving the Javits Center, it's about to happen. It's happening right yeah. now. Yeah. Somebody yeah, dressed it, as Naruto going, consoling man. someone dressed as something they, that nobody got outside of the Denny's that is on the corner of, I believe, Ninth and 42nd. Uh, oh, did I? Call, I was pulling that out of my ass. I, didn't I think there's that was a Denny's. actual sense a, memory. There's got to be a Denny's around there somewhere, or a bodega that looks like a Denny's. I just like the specific of Denny's. I think it's fun. It's a good. I think specific. we can all imagine that. Yeah, yeah I think it's we better than generic s- generic diner. Come on. Yeah, don't and look. If you're not in LA, don't start talking about Waffle Houses. That's more. That's a so. L.A. stole that from us, the good Southern people of the world. Well, Aaron, I'm saying this to the to the Western improvisers and the Eastern mm-hmm. improvisers, and never the Twain shall meet. <laughs> so, yeah, they made sure of that. <laughs> so, Kami, before he bows out, he has to give a little vindication to me, Aaron, personally, because everyone's trying to tell me how Dragon Balls fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> Kami says, and tell me if it's different, he agrees to this harebrained scheme of Goku fighting by himself. But he says, on one condition, you ice this fool and then bring me back to life with the Dragon Balls. I, look, which implies that they will still exist so, if Kami dies. Aaron, I know you can't see it, but right now, 
I have in front of me a uh, freshly killed New York crow, mm-hmm. and uh, I've had it prepared by <laughs> by the folks by the folks at Chopped. And the salad place or the or the uh, no the TV the show fun, the fun show okay the fun, the fun yeah. show. Um, what else was it? What else was in the basket? Uh, what else was in the basket? It was New York City Crow, uh, whole garlic, <laughs> peppermint sticks, peppermint sticks, and Old Bay. <laughs> Man, there's usually less spices and more, but uh, I mean, there can only you can only use like gooey duck every exactly. fucking basket yeah. so often. <laughs> See, I'm sick of gooey duck, and they knew it. So how do they? How, do they, how is it prepared? Uh, it it, sm- it smell to me. It smells wonderful. I'm, you could smell it. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, so it's prepared. It was roasted. Five minutes on the skillet on either side to brown it up. Then 20 minutes in the oven at 350. Uh, the, it was set on a rack, so the juice was dripped and then basted over the meat again. So right now I'm looking at about two-hour roasted New York crow, and I'm about to eat that crow. Well, they're really... <laughs> They're really letting time limits slip on Chopped. No, see, this was a personal thing. This is a personal thing. I just hired okay. the crew from Chopped. I said, hey, what are, uh, you, guys, what are you guys doing? Combat House <laughs> Party's recording. They said, we're there. It's like, say no more, fam. <laughs> we got gotcha. you. They're like, oh, somebody need to eat crow? <laughs> Have it be known. Have it be known that Yahtzee local New York <laughs> has got Combat House Party's back. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Chefs of New York. Lend me your prowess for long-awaited bits, and here I go, eating this crow. Okay. Yes, eat it. Let mm. me hear you. Mm. 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 Oh, well, you're enjoying this too much, uh, I think. Wait. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. A bottle yes, cap. There. There's a bottle uh. cap in there. <laughs> I okay. was about to say, there's the vitriol that yeah. no. is inside. Uh, beyond the, the crispy skin, most of the inside is uncooked. <laughs> oh great! Well, it's it's not like a chicken. It's fine. No, exactly. So I'm not going to get anything. But oh, um, you can treat it like red meat. Yeah, you I can. Think. It's it's closer to tartar than anything else. Mm. Ah, ah! Yeah. They didn't take the feathers off of the backside. Oh, okay. Uh, as oh. as you're doing that, all I'm going to say is ah. my one my other note for that in all caps is fuck all of you. And look, we have to. We ha- Aaron deser- Aaron earned this one. He earned this one by just simply using time to his advantage. <laughs> look, I'm not saying they ain't gonna change the rules on us down the road, but as of right now, and I'll, and I'll gladly, I'll go down to the Penrani Brothers, tell them to <laughs> put a crow between two pieces of Italian bread, slap some fries on it, and coleslaw, and I'll wolf that down. See, but until that time. I am right. Aaron is right. And Aaron, jeez, uh, this button is dusty no more because that is canon. Not Nick Cannon. It's true. It's true. Like all that Disney stuff from earlier. Four for all. <laughs> Four for all. It's oh. true. Aaron, it <laughs> is now canon forever. Because now whatever happens in the future, if they change it on us, not canon. We have to go to Oh yeah. We have to go right. to Toriyama and tell him <laughs> that what mm-hmm. he's created is no longer canon. And the Dragon Balls do not need the original creator to work. Yeah. Look, it's podcasts are admissible in a court of law. <laughs> At some point. At some point, someone's going to go waiting. to jail because of a podcast. I'm waiting. Knock on wood, not us. Not us, knock on wood. Okay, to that effect. Do you Joe think Rogan. That, <laughs> do, you, do you think that that has happened in one of like the daytime court TV shows? Like on Judge Joe Brown? He went on a podcast and he said he was cheating on me. <laughs> now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell is a podcast? <laughs> hey, it's me, Chino. <laughs> I just want to say a podcast is like DVR radio. <laughs> but okay, bye. Okay, uh, so he said he was cheating on you on a podcast. And that's why you want damages of thirty five thousand dollars. That's correct. Prenup. And you, sir, over there, man, I ain't be on no podcast. 
I don't even think there was a podcast. I went to a room. There was a studio. Uh, mm-hmm. There were microphones, but they weren't on. I didn't say nothing about cheating on her. I never cheated on her. Judge Joe did Brown. You guys, your honor, did you guys, Joe Brown. I heard you guys. Let me ask. The, uh, hold on. <coughs> uh, bailiff, go ahead. <laughs> bailiff, now is your turn. Okay. Yeah, that's me, the bailiff. Hey, uh, did you just talk about what was going on the past week for like 15 minutes before you got to the actual show? Yeah, of course I did. That, that's what yeah, I that's do. A po- what? Your Honor, that's a podcast, if I ever heard one, which I have. <laughs> well, I got to go with my bailiff on this one. I, I wore this case to the plaintiff. $35,000 to be paid upon leaving this courtroom. Judge hey, that's jo- me. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown out. Ha. Man, Wait, this uh, is some bullshit. <laughs> Why don't you go whine about it on that podcast of yours? Hey, I loved you, Sheila. <laughs> I ra- Yeah, that's why I rated you five stars. Now I'm rating you one. Mm, guess that's on me. And I'm not going to retweet anything you do anymore. Oh, please. My SEO needs it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need that money. We'll, we'll find out something. We're on Earwolf after all. <laughs> after what? That. Already? And see. And see. Uh, if you the have podcast evidence- about cheaters is on Airwolf already. <laughs> Cheat cast. Cheat cast. Tips and tricks on how to fuck up your marriage. <laughs> I mean, of course, the of course sponsored by Ashley Madison. Of course, of course. Ashley Madison, Lisa Mattress. It's presented by. <laughs> it's on the it's on the album art. <laughs> We're in the wrong. We're in the wrong business. That's the wrong. We're in the wrong niche. I know. We gotta find our. We have to find a new <laughs> we niche. Gotta, where's our scumbag niche that we can <laughs> insert ourselves into? Um, back to the episode proper, though. I didn't have a nice transition like you've had all day. Uh, but so after all that talking between Goku and Piccolo of who's stronger, who's blah blah blah, Piccolo launches a big old energy attack. Goku dodges it easily, but. It's one of those, mm-hmm. one of those lock on, one of those homing attacks that Goku has to then dodge using uh, fun ways to fly around with the Kamehameha wave. Still love it. We've seen like three uh, non-conventional uses of the Kamehameha wave, all propulsion, but uh, for different purposes. Goku leads that beam right back to Piccolo. Massive explosion. Piccolo is now damaged by the arm. Very smiles very when smiles when Goku does this. Right, he gets right in front of Piccolo, smiles, yes, and ducks out of the way uh, like clever. a little scamp. Mm-hmm. Again, animation on all of this, some of the best in the game. Uh, still, Chef's kiss. Piccolo, who's very mad that he's hurt, uh, says "fuck it," rips his arm off, grows the new one. I'm like, oh yeah. He could do that too. Yeah, all all Piccolo's moves are on display right now. It's really cool to see because, again, unfortunately, later on, there's less of a focus on Piccolo on the data. Like you know, as things go on, and you don't see him do all this cool stuff. As we keep saying, we you wish could, we could see him do more. Cool you stuff. could really have him do some Wolverine stuff. There have been, at least within comics. Uh, Wolverine got blown up by getting too close to the sun one time and came back to life. Oh yeah. Granted, that was through the power of the Phoenix Force and Jean Grey, but he's been a skeleton man that grew back once. Oh, I think okay? I've heard of that one. It's in, like you could get down to just a head of Piccolo. I mean, they've done it before. And he could grow back. Remember, if there's only one cell. Well, that's cell. Of cell remaining, but he could regrow. Same thing with Majin Buu. not a Piccolo, though. He's not a Piccolo, but... You know, they learned a lot from Piccolo. Dr. Jiro, he was out there doing research on all Goku's friends. He's probably watching right now, the creep. The creep? He he probably is watching right now. 100% That's Dr. Who- Jiro is watching right now. I'm not going to canon on the canon this, because I don't want to disperse the good name of our good boy announcer. Mm-hmm. But are they in cahoots? <gasps> Is the announcer getting, is he leaking that footage to Dr. Jero? It could be. I mean, here's look. all the best fighter, best and freaky fight, freakiest fighters. <laughs> if Jero is just sitting on all of the capital that the Red Ribbon Army had at the time of their defeat by the hands of a 
twelve year old boy. Well, it had to, I mean, it had to be bequeathed to someone. Yeah, Commander Red gone, Administrator Tall gone, mm. only Doctor Giro operating in his mountain fortress somewhere Secret. near West City, toiling away to defeat the man who defeated his army. Yeah, watching the tournament. Paying off disembodied voices to get information on what's going mm-hmm. on in the tournament. I actually would love that if uh, maybe uh, maybe if they ever did a Dragon Ball Kai, they throw that in. They just put like Dr. Jiro in the crowd. Mm, yes, fight. I will study your moves. This is my voice, right? Close enough. <laughs> mm, yep, that's right, internal monologue. Ooh, I'm glad we're speaking again. Sorry I've been gone for so long, but you've been on top of your game. I've been focusing on watching these big, sweaty boys fight with the laser beams. Ooh. Hey, don't. What? You know this is only for research purposes. I get no pleasure from right. this. Right. I, the internal monologue, does not only show up at times of great internal conflict, like whether or not to oogle the boys or research First the boys. First of all, it's ogle. I don't, I don't mean to be pedantic with my inner voice. Oh, here we go it's again. Ogle. This is why you can't get anything done on a weekend. Hey, weekends are for the boys. You know this. Ah, damn it. Ha ha. Breakthrough. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I can, I can enjoy this. <laughs> I accept me. And scene. I hope that was not horrible <laughs> to anyone. I don't think it was. <laughs> nah. But look, sweaty hot sweaty hot boys. Sweaty hot boys. Anyone can enjoy that. But you know what not everybody's going to enjoy, Aaron? What's that? Junior charging up a new attack that is uh so powerful it warps the sky. <laughs> Did you notice that? Oh, it does make the sky groovy. It makes the sky because real like- groovy, man. Like, I mean, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's Lucy in that sky. Oh, my. Don't forget the diamonds. Oh, how could I, man? How could I forget Lucy in that sky with those diamonds? Uh, that stands for LSD, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Like, I don't, why do you keep stepping on my mellow, man? I'm just doing my thing. You don't have to do it. I'm just this. saying you've taken a lot of LSD. You should probably, you're, you're probably cool with it, right? Yeah, I, 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 you you know that three days have passed, right? Huh? 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 You know that huh? the Beatles are just an ima- a figment of your imagination. What do you mean? You mean John th- Lennon? What? You mean I've been talking to th- three other actual Beatles? Mm-hmm. <laughs> this whole- and a pine and Ringo's a pineapple. <laughs> Oh my god, I fell asleep at the luau again, man. <laughs> no. That's what you in and and see. And see. But that's what yesterday is about. That's <laughs> That's why the Beatles don't exist cuz they were just a acid trip. They were just an acid trip by a man and that was the first 5 minutes of uh yesterday. So you're welcome. Yeah, you can skip that first five. <laughs> skip that first five. Just hop get in that right, film. Get right to the action of a man stealing intellectual property. <laughs> a man becoming YouTube himself. <laughs> <laughs> this next song is fair use. Yesterday, <laughs> yeah. all my troubles seem so watermark away. <laughs> uh, I hope we, we might get pinged for that. I'm scared to go further. Oh, God, yeah, don't go any further. Uh, they, the, <clears throat> litigious, they don't play. Litigious. Yeah. The Beatles the, are. The Beatles don't. The Beatles don't play when it comes to rights. Yeah, they they need you to rebuy their album your, every five years for the rest of the, your life. Oh uh, boy! The ultimate remaster of the White Album. Sixteen unreleased <laughs> tracks. Thirteen remasters. Forty five cuts of internal strife of the band. You should get that album for free. It's yours. It's your album. mm Hmm. Should. Is all I'm saying. I want it. So give it. They won't. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Hey, in the famous words of uh, Childish Gambino, this is America. Don't catch me slipping, though. But it's <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh, we might get strict for that. He's very litigious. <laughs> oh, God. He's very, every, every, everyone calm down with litigiousness. Because, look, that's, that's how the episode ends. We're just 
charging up for the next attack. I don't know what it's going to be. Will it be a special beam cannon? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. No, I'm, at, I'm just, well, that sounds like it is. Sounds like with it could your be. Tone. I, with my tone, I really don't remember. I hope it's something else fucking crazy that we haven't seen before. Yeah, because that, that's the best part of these episodes right now is that, like it all still feels like, I mean, very fresh because we're taking our time with it. But mm-hmm. even as uh, I used to watch Dragon Ball over and over again um, when I had more free time for pure pleasure, um, there it always there was always something that surprised me every time I rewatched it. And this is the most surprising part to me is this this Piccolo fight lasting so long and being so good for all these episodes. So, yeah, watch this episode if you haven't watched any others. Um, Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Yeah, watch it, watch it. yeah, you'll be fine. You'll be caught up. Eh, they're fighting. That's why you need they're to They're fighting. It's fun. A very quick mailbag. Several weeks ago, I dare say a month, I was like, hey, we're recording tonight. Who's got questions for us? And we never got to it. We never did. We, but we're never going to do it now. Because Well, there's only one. So here we go. Okay, perfect. Alex on Facebook asks, is Goku the worst father of all anime? Parentheses, among the good guys. So among the protagonist fathers, who is the worst? Is it Goku? Hmm. Let me, I'll pitch this. Uh, Radical Edward's father in Cowboy Bebop just let his daughter fucking fly off with some space criminals. (laughs) Semi-criminals. That's true. They're on the edge of the law. It's like, (laughs) yeah, I guess you can leave the planet. And just go. As long as you come back, I guess. Not even a permission thing. Just let it happen. <laughs> didn't didn't it like write like where the fuck's my daughter? She's uh, just like goofing around. Why isn't my daughter controlling massive arrays of satellites right now? <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of lasers to get going. <laughs> She's really <laughs> slacking on this chopping into the planet thing. I'm trying to think of the other fathers. Uh, this is, makes me want to do a cowboy bebop <laughs> podcast. Oh man! But anyway. I'll just I'll throw I'll throw that out of the universe and we'll see if it comes back. Nah. Yeah, other other daddies. Anyone I mean, else? Endeavor's a pretty terrible father. As as deadbeat as Goku is, I believe he still pays child support. <laughs> he he does work in Super, like he has a job yeah, yeah. in Super. Finally, yeah, he does he do, he does provide for his family. Where Endeavor should legitimately go to jail. <laughs> Uh-huh. No, wait, wait, no, that was his mom. His mom did that to him. Right, but driven to that by her husband. Yeah, he's... So is he bad? Is he a bad father or a bad husband? I think he's we both. Do different thing. <laughs> I think based on the evidence that we have in front of us, Endeavor's family, like apart from like the... I think there's like three siblings of Todoroki that like are like well-adjusted human beings now, it seems. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whereas, I mean, quote, Dobby is out there just roasting fools in alleys and Todoroki's internal struggles. On Wilder, and on Wilder now. Yeah. <laughs> and on Wilder now. <laughs> Todoroki. Yo, you catch, you catch Dobby on Wild now? <laughs> Fucking torch Nick Cannon. <laughs> in, in a lot of ways. Burn it's- that head wrap off his head and told me he looked dumb. Yeah, it was the last episode for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, other bad anime fathers. What, who else? Who else just, we got? I'm trying to think about. I'm like, oh no. I'm like, well, here's the problem. A lot of people don't have fucking dads in exactly. anime. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Hero from Gundam Wing. Isn't his father terrible to him? Isn't his, didn't his been, father like put him into the Gundam program or whatever? Same with too, um, oh my god, what are yeah? Know, why are we talking about a, about anyone else but Akari? <laughs> yes, Commander Ikari. Uh, fuck humanity and fuck my son. I'm also <laughs> gonna fuck. Finger. Every, I'm gonna fuck everything. By the way, yeah. Also, oh, you're a woman that works for me. Uh, let me just use my power real qu- quick, like a fucking creep. Yeah. Let me just try I to hate. clone my wife and make my cloned. Child, wife, drive you to shoot yourself yeah. and her. I yeah. I think this has to go to Commander let, Ikari. Let, right? Yeah, it has to. Like, let me let me trick my son into falling in love with his wife's sister. Yes, as every uh, good dad but, wants to do. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but he did say good guys. So I will say, but, eh, 
isn't isn't Ikari isn't Commander Ikari technically Te- a good guy? Technically, he's technically on if we're rooting for nerve. Yeah, he's technically a good guy. So yeah, we we solved it. Okay, worst dad, worst dad. Uh, somebody put that on some uh, subreddit or a wiki to make it yeah. real life, real canon, and then we can if- go about our day being internet celebrities, having given you that Ikari's dad is the worst dad in all of anime. Yeah. Move over, Naruto. <laughs> You're just lame. <sighs> You're not actually horrible. Yeah, Naruto, Boruto's dad is like effectively bringing the Leaf Village into the 21st century, and all his son can say is like, oh, he likes ramen. Ew. <laughs> Ew. We're all about those burgers. <laughs> <laughs> spicy, Give me a burger. Spicy burger. Oh, I want a spicy burger. <laughs> We're fucking devolving into the next email from our good friend His Delmon. Power, power listener Delmon writes real quick. He says, yo, dudes, in regards to Dende, he's a natural born Namekian. And I always figured it took them quite a while to grow to full stature. In the cartoon, when Goku defeats Piccolo Daimo, he spits an egg over the horizon, and we see Ma Jr. Piccolo hatch, grow, explode boats, <laughs> etc. In the manga, they show him for the first time at the Tenkaichi Budokai full grown. I always thought that he was like Symbol, Drum, and other Piccolo spawn who always come out of the egg fully developed. Could be wrong, but that's how I've always taken it. Keep fighting! Okay. Yeah, hell yeah, Delmon. He's not... Look, he doesn't have dual citizenship, Piccolo. This is true. That's why it took him so long to get the <laughs> Namek uh, customs. Fuck. Oh, my God. Yeah, he had to go back to Namek to get his uh, visa, <laughs> visa refilled. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was is a nightmare. First, it was a, whole, it was a whole day at the post office. Mm-hmm. Then they couldn't do anything, and he had to... Uh, I mean, the post of, office like, was closed because the Frieza force was in town, some kind of parade. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a Namekian holiday going on that you mm-hmm. didn't realize. Yeah. Um, he had to do a phone call to yes. Namek, which means he had to call at like 3 a.m. because <laughs> of the time differences. And intergalactic charges? You don't even want to know what those are. Uh, oh, my God. Good thing he's and got also a... the li- also the light speed delay. <laughs> the, the light speed delay. You're waiting, you're waiting online for like two months. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I, I mean, that button's already out. Mm-hmm. I mean, just slide it over to me. So we're... Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 there you go. Here's what I'm saying. Piccolo grew faster because he's not a naturally born Namekian. And that, boys and ghouls, Ooh. is canon, not, not Nick Cannon. Not canon. Blah! Wait, Gooigi? What? Luigi's Mansion 3 comes out. Next Did you week. say Gooigi? Yeah, or Luigi. No, Luigi's what is a Mansion Three. Gooigi is Luigi's like new puzzle partner. So Aaron. Oh, his ghost boy. His no, ghost, he, he his, it, It's Goo. His JoJo stand. No, 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 not even his JoJo stand. So Luigi in Luigi's Mansion Three has a backpack that's filled with this goo. That when he releases it, mm-hmm. it takes Luigi's soul and acts as Luigi and solves puzzles for him that he can't otherwise solve. He doesn't get hurt by spikes or, or anything. What is this sheet? My brother gets a cap that he puts his soul into and I get some, some fucking snot. I'm sorry, uh, Luigi. It is I, uh, Doc. East. I forget what my name is in the context of your game, but I made you this backpack. Everyone forgot. Don't, don't. Look, I'm literally it. phoning it in. We're on uh, FaceTime, and I'm just yeah. trying to tell you that in that backpack is a goo version of you. You push a button, your body stands still, you get your soul is in the goo, and then find Mario in the mansion. Okay, got it. Bye. Uh, it's about to, it's about the him again. It's always about to him. <sighs> Mario's missing the camaraderie of his brother by making me second best. <laughs> Did that track uh, as, a, as a joke? Oh, I thought you. I, I thought you hung up. <laughs> I'm eating, oh, you're listening. I'm chips. eating chips. <laughs> See. I don't know why that was so goddamn funny to me. Uh, but I, I want, I want to say, I want to say, if anybody has the spare time 
and a very great imagination. You should write a book from Luigi's perspective called Where's Mario? <laughs> I just like, I think that'd be hilarious. You'd have to get it passed by Nintendo, but I say it's worth it. It's just Luigi angrily taking down Mario at every, like cr- chronologically through every game. Luigi just has something to say about each game. You could 50 Shades of Grey it, have it be Mario and Luigi, get super popular enough, change the names, and then it's a best selling porno. Just like Twilight. <laughs> it's just like, well, Twilight, just like 50 an Shades amazing of Grey. selling porno. Well, that too. <laughs> Twilight was the original. Fifty Shades of Grey was the fanfic. Oh, oh yeah, boy. yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm. I and I hate that I know that. Look, <laughs> it's a good fact. Mm-hmm. If you want to give us a springboard for some dumb dumb bits, you can do so by writing to us at kamehousepartypod at gmail.com. Go to kamehousepartypod.com for to get to subscribe to the podcast for clips uh, to see to subscribe to all of our social medias uh, for our full hefty archive. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, that's it, man. Do the do the thing that I asked yeah. you to do in the commercial, please. Uh, if you can. Do if you what will. the ads tell you. That's what 2019 <laughs> is about. Doing what ads tell you, especially in yeah. this case. Do what it tells you. Uh, support our fine boy, Aaron. And support each other out there, uh, out there in the real world. Everybody who's a fan of this podcast, you know. Also, by the way, it's 13 bucks, man. And you own it. You own it. It's not a rental. Yeah. $13 for a movie. That's you ain't gonna get no price. I mean, you will <laughs> maybe next year, but don't wait till next year because that doesn't help me. Yeah, why wait till next year when you're not in the conversation and you're like late to the game on this amazing yeah. movie, The Feast of the Seven if Fishes? If someone fucking re- tweets me next year, like, oh, I saw Feast of the Seven Fishes, I'm like, I'm not only will I respond, but I respond very snidely. You'll respond with a you'll respond with a meme that has Kami saying you're two thousand years late. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, that's the end of the show. <laughs> uh, but yeah, be that. be good to each other online. Um, be kind out there. Uh, there's a lot not to be nice about or to be angry about, but don't take it out on each other. Love each other. Uh, and no matter what you got going on in your life, uh, you gotta keep, keep-